on this farm, I'd say that the basis of our fertility program is bulky organic materials. I mean, there's several ways you can go um, when building up fertility or, or maintaining fertility on an organic farm. And we've just decided to put our money and our time into, into bulky materials like compost. Um, you'll see piles of leaves over here that are from Evansville. Um, we had very good luck using leaves back on the Fitchburg farm. We were able to get literally hundreds and hundreds of tons from Madison, you know, totally for free. And um, it worked out great. Um, we've used a few concentrated materials, but that's not really the basis of what we're doing. And cover cropping. Uh, you know, clearly, when I thought it, think, think about fertility, and when I first was thinking about how to improve this farm, how to get it in vegetable shape, what I was thinking about was imp increasing the biological activity of the farm. I, I, I wasn't thinking in NPK terms particularly. And um, the, the first step is just to get the soils revved up, get the biological life and activity built up as high as possible so that your soils are digesting these organic materials quickly, they're releasing nutrients to it, it, so that the plants can take them up. And you know, a lot of that is just start feeding them. They will respond given the right conditions. And we have soils here that are well aerated and and you know easy to till so that that combination of organic matter plus air plus enough moisture will you know has has developed them fairly quickly i mean i learned one thing from i've learned a lot of things from gary zimmer but one thing i learned about this farm was that he said their soils on their otter valley uh, otter creek farm are similar to this many of them they're relatively low in organic matter to under two percent which doesn't sound like much, but it, but on these soils, that's not too bad. And um, they cycle very quickly. Um, soils with more clay have more, the clay acts like a flywheel and inertia. Um, it takes longer to build up that biological activity and to stock up the, the uh, nutrient levels in those soils. But once you have it, it also takes longer to decline. And with us, we have a, a more rapid rise in activity and nutrient levels, but it'll also go down more quickly if we slack off. So, you know, it's just the nature of this, of this farm. And again, they're good vegetable soils because they're so friable.